Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is X, and we're going to be playing Fears Fathom Norwood Hitchhike, the second episode in the series. So we will see how this one turns out compared to the first one. Here we go. Fears to Fathom, Episode 2, Norwood Hitchhike, June 16th. happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help even if, even in just a little bit. I was one of those people who loved gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to. Sometimes even get to meet some of my online friends. My parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. I can imagine. This convention, I was at one great. And it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over 12 hour. It was a little over a 12 hour drive. Oh shit! We're actually driving. Was to drive. Probably not safe to be okay. I'm just gonna stop. Dash, you call. Okay, that's good. Probably not safe to be stopping on the inner on the side of the road here, but all right, let's go through this real quick. All right, we'll get to our destination first, then we'll read it. Testing text and drive. That's how wrecks happen. Fine, Dad. I'll pull off the side road and talk to you. you call? Yeah, I think I'm going to the convention. Can I get your car for like five days, please? With who? Aiden, the internet friend? He's a nice guy. No. You're not going on a 10 hour drive by yourself. Well, I already made my mind up. I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything? Let's talk when I get home. Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. You got it, Dad. Hayden Williams, all. Anything else? Leaving now. Drive safe, Holly. Where did you reach? Still about six hours away from the city and stuck in a traffic jam. I can. Driving and I is really therapeutic for me. God dang it, Dad. Quit texting me when I'm driving. I will read them when I get stopped. Or whenever I run out of gas. What the? Okay, that's not weird. Someone just walking into the woods. Okay, well, we got a gas station here. Let's. Let's read our text. Aiden Williams. Discord. We got this. So. See if I can get the car. Let you know. I'm only gonna take a mile on a take a mile on a walk. Alright. The plane is on, hell yes. Wait, you're getting the car? Yep. The big girl. Your ash can't come. I'll get the skateboard too. Oh, it's really cool skate park nearby. Sounds fun. Discord, where are you? Almost there. I don't see each shirt. It was fun. Okay, so jumping around between 
now and then. It was fun. I had a good time. Thanks for joining me. Smiley face. Again. Be sure driving all the way back. I don't really have a choice in doing. I could have left tomorrow morning. Okay, give me a call when you reach back to your cave. Okay, Dad. Not sure it'll be this lifetime though. What do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam in the country. Of the country. That sucks. Not too good here either. I think it's people from the convention. Probably. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. I told you to take that flight. Only it's gonna be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling alright. Okay. Get out. The game. Hopefully. I like start pumping gas here now or what? Do I have to go in and pay for gas? We got prepaid pump. Or a cola. We got a pop. I wasn't feeling it. Okay, no pop. Going into the gas station. Uh, nice little gas station, I guess. I like your shirt, dude. Ma'am? I get 10 on pump, too. Okay. That was easy enough. <clears throat> Heading to the bridge by yourself. The bridge? Northern Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of the year. Be careful. What do you mean? About a century now, many people have been going missing down there. People who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on the trees. Um. Well, thanks for the gas. <laughs> okay. We got a text from mom. Holly, mom. Okay. Can we get some snacks? I think we can buy a cola. Sure. Buy a cola. Assuming these items increase your sprint speed. Oh, nice. If this guy has anything he'd tell us about what's going on out here, maybe. Bleep. Heard about heard about the Norwood Valley monster. How's your night going? Where you headed? Huh? Your mind. Big mistake. Okay. That's not good. That's not a good start. Okay, maybe uh how's your night going? He just looked at me. Okay, he's not very friendly then. All right, um, is that that van we saw earlier? Okay, um, do you have anything else you can tell me? You have pump two? Thanks. Okay. Um, can you tell us anything else? Okay. He doesn't want to talk to us. Screw you, guy. And one more thing. Oh god. You see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride. Do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Uh, why? Some people say she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever under any circumstance, pick up a hitchhiker. These people are out there on the road putting their thumbs out. They aren't what you think, ma'am. It just ain't. Uh, thanks, bro. I will uh, take that into consideration. I'm on the wrong pump, but. Yeah, because that's not normal at all. 
I gotta move my car over to pump two. So I can get my gas. Pretty fancy car. Okay. Filled the tank and was off. Was off the road again. Off on the road again. That's a small man. Oh, I should probably check that. Don't know if you find any shop at this hour, but we're on a dog food. Can you get some for my island? I'll pay you back. Got you, mom. Got you, mom. Okay, so I'm sure that van was doing creeping around. Dog food. Where is the? Okay, that's not dog food. No, no dog food. Dog food. At bat. We're good boys and girls. That'll be five dollars, ma'am. There you go, sir. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Anything else you're gonna tell me before I leave? No. There we go. the road again. It turns like a boat, literally. Alright. Build up on gas. I don't know how much ten dollars get you. Being on the road, you do realize the thing. Monsters truly do exist. Every single one of them looks just like you and me. That is true. Oh, put text me while I'm driving. It's not expire or anything, right? Oh, good God, Mom. All right. Put text me while I'm driving, please. Oh, nice. It's burned out. Oh. Just an electrical glitch. Short in the wires, maybe. Yeah. Such a nice, relaxing drive. Besides our headlights going crazy. I want to get your headlines checked next time you uh, get back into town. Cause this isn't safe at all. We're gonna run into something or someone. Not too bad of a drive yet. Haven't encountered anything too creepy or weird. Oh. Oh, nice, the bridge. Oh, well, let's hope nothing happens, I guess. Cross your fingers and toes. Maybe. Come on, you can do it. 
We're so close. But now I don't know where I'm at. Okay, we're on some dirt road. That's not ominous or creepy at all. Foggy out, it looks like. There is just so nice. I feel like something's just gonna jump up at us. Okay. Hell is that noise? Alright, just keep going. Not stopping for anything or anyone. Especially not someone in a White or blue gown? Oh, great. Well, two big logs in the middle of the road. Middle of the road blocking the way. All right, let's, yeah, let's just get out because, you know, that's the smart thing to do. God damn, we're fucking strong. Those were heavy. Okay, yeah, uh, let's just, uh, get these logs and get the hell off the road. Oh, no, no. Okay, go, go, go. <laughs> go figure. First, I'm gonna start. What a piece of junk. The car wouldn't start back up. Um, I don't want to leave my car. Well, I guess we're hoofing it. Just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. Nice. I'm not saying that I was starting to believe whatever bullcrap the guest just clerk pulled. But. I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel slight the slightest of unease. Didn't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but throughout my life I was told not to take rides from strangers. Alright, let's get out. Is anybody gonna come and rescue us? I'm scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Too many noises out here. 10 23 p.m. Oh shit, someone's coming to our rescue. Jesus, slow down. It's just a hitchhiker, yeah. That guy tried to run us over. Didn't understand how someone could just leave another human human being stranded like that. A crappy person, that's who. With a lot of crappy people. 2.43 p.m. Anybody gonna come? Oh, who's this? <laughs> exactly. Hey, stop! Thank you so much. Oh, another girl from the gas station. I don't think anybody will stop for me. What are you trying to do out here? Uh, I think my car just broke down. Uh, okay. Oh. 
think I can get a ride. Uh, where you been heading? Where you headed to? Just up the road. Just the nearest stop where I can get some help. Hop in. Thanks so much. Could, uh, can you wait until I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Yes, sir. You might want to turn your key off so you don't drain your battery. Um, screw the dog food. I had two hands. Well, that was a crappy throw. I don't know. What? Do I have to get all my luggage from you? You need to hurry up. I don't have all day. Can you help me get my stuff? Come on, dude. Help me. It's not safe to be out here. Oh, for Fine. A marathon sprint all the way back to the car. Why do we run faster sideways? Skateboard. So where we run faster sideways. You need to hurry up. I don't have all day. Okay. Is that air? Do we have to get everything? Yeah. Dog food ain't gonna do us any good here. On. Uh, all right. Okay. I get the dog food for the good boys and girls. <laughs> hey, I'm ready. I'm done. Finally. Finally. Now hop in. Be quick. Yes, sir. Jesus. Okay. You're a beautiful man, you. This isn't awkward at all. Can you like say something? You won't tell me who you are, where you're going. I'd rather not say if that's okay. I live really close from here. I was driving home. I'd rather not say if that's okay. If you say so. Maybe that wasn't a good. I don't know if he's a weirdo trying to kidnap me either. You're really lucky I had to be on this way. I'll be on this side of the town tonight. Well, I thank you. I must say you are one brave young woman. How's that? What's that supposed to mean? Got any clue what happened to your car back there? It was a battery. It's an old car. Uh, I guess. <laughs> the beater. You're talking like you're in a hurry, but you're driving like 20 mile an hour, maybe. What do you think about what he told you back in the gas station? I didn't really listen to a single word. He's really, really creeped me out. <laughs> He's funny. Um, really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. So is it true? What, the monster? Let's see, I've never... Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are, there are some things, and I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this, you don't, you don't bother them that you don't, you don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. Thanks. Great advice to live by. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people, <laughs> obviously. Pretty, pretty clear, pretty clear to see. Not a people person.
12.08 a.m. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out here, he said ominously. Before leaving. Enough brew for occupancy. Oh. Man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. I mean, got the same sweater as the creep dude from the gas station. Okay, I'll need a room to shack up for the night. How much is for a room? Yum, yes. I'm only going to be here for a few hours. Uh, $40 for singles. Hey, cash only. Easy. Hotel room number nine. Right over there. Talk about the car. Ninety dollars. Kimmy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Man, they're just milking us for our money. Good, I'll talk to Tom. I'll let Good, I'll let you Tommy know. One last thing. Try not to wake up the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Yes, sir. Number nine. I pick up my. Can't pick up my stuff. All right. Where is room number nine? Okay, this is one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh oh. Oh god. Hey, where are you at? Your dad's calling me. Mom. Ollie. Dad. Oh, did not deliver. Maybe staying at a hotel tonight. Okay. Well, what do you mean by reroute? Hmm. Well, we got a room. It's nice and warm inside. It's not even, the bed's not even made. How am I gonna sleep on that? And there's a smell, type of musky smell. Get from old houses. Okay, let's go get our stuff real fast. Funny how we run faster diagonally. Sure, if that's intended, or can I get my stuff? All right. Didn't have slept there. the bathroom no okay um how the hell am i supposed to sleep here i can't uh go talk back to Better not creep on them. And just go into any room. Why not? All right, let's go and get our. See if we can't get our stuff. We gotta go talk to the dude. Tell him, hey, our bed's not made. How the heck are we gonna sleep in here? Right over there, your room number nine is. Is. You have a great night's sleep. 
Um, yes, sir. Why can't I pick my stuff up? Creeps lurking around. Ew, the nasty looking mattress. Alright, um. Maybe your bed's made now. Still not made, huh? I don't have a there. Um, sir? Maybe we gotta close our door. Should not be able to get my stuff though? Hmm. Other random pills in here. I didn't need it. You need something. We can't even make our bed yet. We can't even go to bed yet. Um. Jesus Christ! You fucking creep. Why are you in my? Look at this fucking oh you creepy motherfucker. What are you doing here? Here's the shit. <laughs> Uh, hee hee hee. Ah, freaking punch you in the throat. Who are you? I'm Tommy. Room service here. The roadway in. The finest stopover in Norwood. What were you doing in my bathroom? You know, cleaning stuff. At the front desk, you gave me this room. That's not creepy at all. I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. Okay. Freaking weirdo. I'll remember that, Tommy. I will remember that. I only had two hands. I don't know why I needed to bring this dog food with me, but. Tommy, would you leave my frickin' room, you creep? Alright, get our stuff and go to bed. I'm not sure if that's a feature or not. Being able to sprint sideways like that. For you, Tommy. You know what? Take the skateboard to the face. That was really messed up. I'm surprised the orc dude doesn't close the front door yet. Tommy, why are you still in my room, dude? Get the hell out of my room. I had orders Jim about the situation. What situation? Oh, what's wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. I don't know. But don't you worry. It's safe here. Go get your car. Also, the room... The room's phone is not working. If you, if you need anything, just ask the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. Hee hee hee. 
Dude, your fucking smile is just creepy. Uh, but you have a good night. Thanks, Tommy. Get the hey. Steal my luggage, you jerk. Hey. Take a shower. No. We'll sit down and watch some TV. Oh my god. Well, that's probably not copy. That's probably copywritten. I don't know if we should watch that or not. Up in the sky. It's a plane! It's a plane! It's Superman! Okay, we're not. Try to sleep, maybe? Okay, what the fuck? Oh, of course not. There was something very off about that place. And help. Jake feeling that something wasn't right. Yeah, some fucking weirdos creep past through a freaking window. Hello? Um, yeah. Afraid to open the door. Um, I don't want to sleep anymore. Only coffee will help me stay up. Okay, we have to leave now. Um, I know there's some vending machines around here, but I'm not sure which ones are coffee. Here breathing. Uh, let's just get a coffee real fast. Look your consume. Hmm. Espresso. Controls were inverted. Oh fuck. I hate this. Dude, that is disorienting as shit. Rough man. They drugged her coffee. Yeah, let's go to bed. Um, Inverted disorientation is crazy. Three eighteen AM. Oh, well, what's gonna happen? I was sedated. Yeah, I'd say someone drugged your drink. Probably why I was free. Um, 
try and sleep again, maybe. I just sound like there's somebody in my closet. Um, I just take my drug here. I didn't need it. Um, Um, hello? I don't want to open the door. Why is my bathroom off? Uh, yeah, I think that's the the clerk who is it go from the front desk open the door uh no um what do you want joe Can I help you what didn't i specifically tell you not to wake anyone up i didn't do anything complaints what are you making all those goofy noises for what whatever it is just keep it down miss is that why your eyes are all red um uh, no someone laced your coffee machine you messing with me no i don't have a coffee machine it's right over there okay here i've had enough of your crazy goon I had enough of you crazy goons here for once. Then we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Yes, you are. Hate my job. All right, fine, Joe. Come on. I'll show you where the coffee machine's at. Come on. Coffee machine's over here. If there's no coffee machine over here, I swear. Okay, someone jacked the coffee machine. I guess I'm crazy, Joe. Where is it now? Gone? It was literally right here. I'm not crazy, Joe. Go back to your room. I swear to God, it was right here. Said, go back now. Fine. I'm going to sleep. Should be some medication room. That should offer you some relief. Check the table by the table. Why are you offering me drugs? Bad enough your coffee machine cracked me out. Okay. That's enough. Yes, nighty night. <laughs> Requires water. Okay, yeah, there's water here. Why are you gonna take some random random sleeping medicine or drug from a hotel? Ain't nobody in the right mind gonna do that. You know with half a brain would do that anyways. Okay, well no one's in the bathroom, thank god. Okay, I guess we'll try to 
sleep again next to my dog food. Are you whispering sweet nothings into my ear, you creep? No, I don't think so, bro. No. No. No hello. There's no hello here. No one's in this room. Go away. Hello. Hello. You're a fucking creep, dude. No. I don't want to answer the door, man. I'll just hide in the closet. Hello? Hello? Who is it? Who is the other door? I need help. Uh, what do you want? I need your help. Please, please open the door. Uh, no, I don't know you. I ain't opening the door for your creepy ass. Hello, I know you're in there. No, you don't. I, I'm not getting back in bed. Not. What do you want, dude? Leave me the fuck alone. I don't want anything. Leave me alone. I'm gonna go hide in my bathroom, my closet. I'm afraid if I interact with the door again, it's gonna open. And I'm scared. God only knows this dude what do you freaking want dude okay i'm gonna click it and hope god doesn't open it please leave i just need to talk to you i swear i'm not a cop please go away i'm gonna call the cop oh Get him, Tom. Fucking weirdo creeping in my room. This day, I find it really weird that the manager interfered. Inferred. Not to get the police involved, as it would have affected Mattel's reputation and let go of the situation. See, there's no one there, anyways. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or drug ring or possibly something even worse. A creep like that? Help me arrive with a car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. That's probably a, maybe a little bit safer. That's crazy. Tommy is the MVP. Yeah, that's crazy. To think this actually happened to somebody is insane. 
but all in all, it was another good game. It was pretty. That was pretty insane. That freaking the the disorienting inverted controls was disorienting to say the least. But that was another good episode. Hopefully you all enjoyed it as much as I did. Besides mom and dad wouldn't quit texting me when I'm driving. Trying to get me in a wreck. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I did. And we will be working towards doing the next and final episode. I think that is unlocked. Or that's out for now anyways so all right thank you guys for watching i will catch you all next peace out